Good morning everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate a new experiment. That is isolation of DNA from a plant material. In the theory class you already learned for the biotechnology experiments for creating a recombinant DNA. The first step we have to isolate the DNA with the desirable genes. So how can we isolate the DNA? Okay, you all know the genetic material is present inside the membranes. So in order to isolate the DNA, first we have to break the membrane. Okay, for example, if we are using the plant cell, you know, cell, plant cell wall is made up of cellulose. So we can use cellulase enzyme. If we are using a bacterial cell, if we are isolating the DNA from a bacteria, we have to use lysozyme. Okay, and if we are using a fungus, we can use chitinase enzyme. That means by using appropriate enzymes, we can break the membrane and we can isolate the DNA. But one more problem is there. This DNA, it contains other macromolecules also along with that. Proteins, lipids, RNA. Okay. So there also we can use different enzymes. For destroying protein, we can use protease. For RNA, ribonuclease or RNA is or for lipid we can use lipids. So here I will show you how to do this. A simple experiment. In a simple way we can do that. Okay. For that first you have to take a ripened banana piece. Okay. Here I take a part of banana. Ripened banana. Okay. I add this and you can add a pinch of salt. Common salt. A pinch of salt also I add it. Then you can add what is it? Dishwash liquid. Now you are all thinking why I am using this uh, dishwash liquid? Because I told we need a number of enzymes. Okay. But for all these things we can use this all in one. Because this is dishwash liquid. It contains number of enzymes to destroy the microbe. So we can use this one. Okay. So I am adding some drops of dishwash liquid also. Okay. Now the next step is we have to smash it. Now you know the ingredients. Banana ripe and banana piece. You can use onion also. But here I am using the banana. Okay. A pinch of salt as well as this dishwash liquid. Then you can add water also and smash it. Very thoroughly. Okay. Now the enzymes acting in and it breaks the membranes and they remove the other macro molecules along with the DNA. Okay. So now I am adding water also. Okay. The next step is filtration of this. Solution. We can filter. For that, we have to take a filter paper. And all these apparatus are washed. Okay. Now, we can filter this. Now the filtrate is coming out. Okay, so now I am taking about 5 mi in a test tube. Okay, so this is the filtrate. It connect the pure form of DNA. Now we can precipitate out this DNA. How? By adding chilled ethanol. Okay, this ethanol. Here the ethanol actually has to precipitate the DNA. Okay, we are using chilled one. When we are using the cool or chilled one, it increases the precipitation process. Okay. Don't 
So now I add this chilled ethanol to this solution. Here on the surface, okay, on the top, you can see the precipitate. This is the already prepared one. Here you can easily identify. Okay. On the, top, the fine threads of precipitate you can see. That is the DNA. Clear? In this way, we are isolating the DNA. I hope all of you understood this experiment. Okay.